Welcome to the biology stairwell at the Halsey University in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Boris Worm, and I would like to take a minute to introduce you to Ransom Aldrich Myers, or Ram as he preferred to be called. Ram was a unique scientist, but also an amazing human being, full of passion for the natural world, curious, uh, an amazing scientist, and he had this unique ability to make sense even of the most complex of data set. Um, he was such a singular human being that he left a lasting impression with pretty much anyone he touched. During his publishing career from 1982 to 2007, he contributed over 170 papers, many of which became instant classics in the field. And he's now one of the most recognized and leading fisheries biologists in the world. Let me take you up the stairwell that he used to run up every day and that is now decorated with his scientific papers as a memorial to him and his enormous scientific legacy. I'm sitting here at the old desk of Ram where he used to work at Dalhousie University from 1997 to 2007. Um, the database you're looking at is called the RAM Legacy Database to honor his life's work, but also to honor the fact that all of this goes back to the original Ransom A. Meyer Stock Recruit Database, which he compiled with the help of several collaborators, particularly Nick Barrowman and Jessica Brayson, first published in 1995. So this database, called the Ransom Meyer Stock Recruit Database, compiled data of over 700 fish populations around the world, and made them accessible through free online publication on the World Wide Web at a time when this was far from normal. It was in fact one of the first biological databases to be published this way. And this was a groundbreaking effort with a clear goal in mind. In Ram's own words, the introduction to the site states that the purpose of this site is to compile all population dynamics data on fish in the world with the goal that synthetic analysis will lead to enhanced conservation and improve fisheries management. Ram's basic idea and a central conviction with this database was that the uncertainty that's inherent in fisheries data could be minimized by doing comparative or meta-analysis across a large number of stocks, and that this would ultimately result in better management advice and more informed management of the world's dwindling marine resources. After Ram's sudden death in 2007, several of his friends, colleagues, and students began to update the database. Um, this included Julia Baum, Jeff Hutchings, uh, Colleen Minto and Daniel Ricard. This was a monumental task and it really got a boost when uh, these efforts were joined with a working group at the National Center for Ecological Analysis and Synthesis that I co-chaired with Ray Hilborn. We enlisted scientists all around the world to contribute to this database and make it as up-to-date and as modern as possible and this is an ongoing effort that has merged into the RAM legacy database you're about to explore. While many scientists have contributed to this effort all of this goes back to the original vision and insight of Ransom Aldrich Myers. His scientific legacy and his ideas live on in virtually every data point you're about to explore. <laughs>